in the 1940s when Hitler, Yamach Shemay Vizichrei, set the world on flames, when he was hell-bent on annihilating and killing every last Jewish man, woman, and child, there arose a single and lone voice in the wilderness known as the Friedrich Rebbe. And the Friedrich Rebbe announced that we are living in very unique and special times. We are living in Ikvased the Mashiach Mamish, the time right before Mashiach's arrival when Geula is imminent. And therefore, we have to do everything we can to prepare and get ready and to speed up the process and to help Mashiach come one moment earlier. And the Friedrich Rebbe was met with absolute ridicule and disgrace and mockery. And all his contemporaries, his fellow rabbis, the secular Jews, the religious Jews, they all mocked the Friedrich Rebbe, they all scorned the Friedrich Rebbe, they all laughed at the Friedrich Rebbe. And they said, who does the Lubavitcher Rebbe think he is to talk about Mashiach in this way and to say that Geula is coming in our times? And the worst part was that nobody, nobody stood up for the Friedrich Rebbe. Nobody came to his defense. Nobody defended him. And they left him all alone, a single voice in the wilderness to be mocked and ridiculed. And so the Friedrich Rebbe said a mimer. And it is perhaps the most important and the most powerful mimer he ever said. And he said that a long, long time ago by the Purim story, there was an evil, evil man named Haman. And Haman was hell-bent on annihilating the Jewish people, on killing every single man, woman, and child. He was the Hitler of his times. And there arose a wonderful man, a beautiful man named Mordechai. And Mordechai told the Jewish people, that this absolute evil and this absolute toxicity is a sign that Geula is about to come. We are about to return to the land of Israel. We are about to rebuild the base of Megdash. And therefore, we have to get ready. We have to prepare ourselves. But there was a small faction of Jews, about 5%, that laughed at Mordechai, that ridiculed Mordechai, that mocked Mordechai. And they said, Mordechai is a joke. Mordechai does not know what he's talking about. Geula is not coming. We are not going back to Israel. We are not rebuilding the base of Megdash. And they were so loud and so vocal and so chutzpahdik that they implanted doubt amongst many, many Jews. And about 35% of Jews started to doubt Mordechai, started to doubt the message, started to doubt Geula. But the Friedrich Rebbe said something amazing. He said the party that's most to blame and the Jews that carried the most guilt was not the 5% of arrogant chutzpahnyakers. And it wasn't the 35% of weak, spineless Jews. The Jews that were most to blame were the other 60%. Because even though they personally believed in Mordechai and they personally believed in Gula, they were quiet, they were silent, they were the silent majority. Because they were intimidated, they were scared, they allowed themselves to be bullied by these couple of bullies. And therefore they were quiet, they were the silent majority, they were too afraid of losing their reputation, they were too afraid of losing their jobs, they were too afraid of becoming ridiculed and mocked together with Mordechai. And therefore, they were quiet. They did not use their power. They did not use their voices. Even though they had voices, even though they had power, even though they were teachers and parents and rabbis and community leaders and writers and speakers, they were quiet. They did not use their voices. And they allowed a couple of terrible people, a measly 5%, to totally control the narrative, to plant doubt in so many Jewish hearts, and to openly mock Mordechai unopposed. And the Friedrich Rebbe concluded, do not make the same mistake today do not be part of the silent majority today. And of course, this message applies now more than ever. Mashiach is coming, so do not make the same mistake. Do not be part of the silent majority.